I've been thinking. I'm Sean Browdeseth and I've been thinking about being blessed. Well, when I was young, uh, there was a, a book that came out and actually a little movement sprung up around it. It was called The Prayer of Jabez. And uh, this became very, very popular. It's actually from two verses in uh, 1 Chronicles. I want to read them. 1 Chronicles 4 verse 9 to 10. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm, so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Now, there was a man, he springs up and he goes away. We never hear from him again, but he, his name meant pain. So he said, well, God, I don't want to be identified by that name. Well, what happened, unfortunately, was this book and the movement became a mantra where people would uh, begin to say, God, uh, keep me free from pain, bless me. And it actually didn't bear any good fruit, if I'm honest. Um, in the end, what you had was people just, in, in a sense, subscribing to a superstitious type of prayer that God must never let anything go wrong in our lives, which we clearly don't see in the life of Jesus, Paul, Peter, any of, of the leaders in the Bible. We don't see that that system and that way of doing things. Well, I was thinking about that when it comes to a fairly recent song that was released by Maverick City Music, and this song is called Bless Me. Now, I'm not in the habit of uh, naming groups and taking shots at, at erroneous uh, songs or teachings, but I felt like I should mention this, not because it's heretical, but because it's actually extremely unhelpful. And sometimes what you have in a collective who release worship music are some profoundly beautiful, profoundly anointed, profoundly helpful songs and other songs that are not helpful. And we shouldn't demonize groups of people for that. We should just recognize this is something that actually won't help me or any of us. Well, I want to read the lyrics of Bless Me. It's Maverick City featuring Kirk Franklin. It's, it actually sounds like a playground chant. Uh, very, very catchy. Uh, and uh, kind of like a, something you, you, with a rhythmic beat to it that you, you just want to chant over and over. But here it is. Uh, bless me, bless me, bless me God indeed. Death has been defeated. He is our victory, Jesus. Bless me, bless me, God, not just for me, but so everyone around me can have everything they need. Let all these folks that's with me, God, have everything they need. Favor, favor, let it fall on me till I'm the conversation of all my enemies. Favor, favor, God, not just for me, but so everyone around me can have everything they need. Let all these folks that's with me, God, have everything they need. Now, my test for, for worship lyrics or, or, or statements we make uh, into the public domain is always, can you picture the first church saying this? Can you picture the church in Jerusalem? Can you picture James gathering the first church in Jerusalem saying, I just want to say something, brothers. Uh, let's all stand up and say, God, bless me, bless me, so, so everyone can have everything they need. Well, maybe. Maybe you're the type of person that can kind of picture them saying that. And I can see how they've tried to balance the, the call for God to bless them by saying, well, it's actually for others. It's actually when God blesses me, it's for others and their need. Well, there's a problem with that. The problem is, firstly, they, they are clearly asking God to bless them financially, materially, because they're thinking of people's needs. And uh, the desire to help others is very good. But we actually don't see a biblical pattern of people saying, God bless me so I can bless others. We just have a pattern of people saying, I want to bless others. I want to be a blessing. Help me, God, to bless others. And along the way, if God blesses me, of course. I think the reason we are not encouraged strongly in the Word of God to ask God to bless us to bless others is that the Bible says wealth is deceitful. In other words, you can start by saying, God, if you bless me, the more you give me, God, the more I'm going to give away. But the Bible says wealth actually deceives you. So you can start saying that. But along the way, the likelihood of you saying, well, do I really need to give all this away is extremely high. I think of the parable of the sower of seeds. Think of this parable. It's Mark chapter 4. Jesus said, seed is sown. It represents the word of God, the gospel going out. And if you remember, some falls on, uh, some immediately get snatched up by the birds. Some falls on, on shallow sort of rocky ground and, and it gets scorched by the sun. Um, by the end, the, 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 the one quarter of it lands on good soil and it springs up and it actually does what it's supposed to do. But particularly this, think about this, the seed that's sown among thorns. Mark 4 verse 18 to 19. Still others, like seeds sown among thorns, hear the word. 
But the worries of this life, the deceitfulness of wealth and the desires for other things come in and choke the word, making it unfruitful. In other words, if you say to God, I want you to bless me financially, I promise you I will bless others. The Bible says, be careful. It chokes you. Wealth can choke you. It doesn't mean there should be no wealthy people in the kingdom of God. We know God blesses so that we will be a blessing. We know that there are wealthy people in the Bible. We know around us there's wealthy people who serve God with their money. But I think we should be very careful desiring money because what happens is along the way, I remember the first time I got a paycheck that was a decent one. I, I worked in a, a a company, or I worked earning very, very little. Then I started working at a company where my, my paycheck still wasn't that big, but it was bigger than I'd ever had. And I remember the first time I opened uh, my slip to show me my amount, I remember thinking, do I have to give to God? It was a terrible feeling. I realized immediately that wealth had deceived me. And I had to get myself right and, and submit that money to God. But I've seen how wealth, deceive, wealth deceives us. Well, I want to say this. A song encouraging you to call out to God, bless me, bless me, and it means financially. I want to say be very careful with that. I think there are way better things to say to God. I think, I think we could say to God, you have blessed me, thank you. I think we can say like Jesus taught us to pray, Lord, give me my daily bread, give me what I need, God. But I think the more we veer into other territory, asking God for lots so that we can bless others, well, we shouldn't actually even trust ourselves with those type of thoughts. Let's leave that song where it is. It's not blasphemous. It's not heretical. Those people aren't evil. It's just not a helpful song. Let's find songs that are going to help us think the way God wants us to think. The end!